thank you very much, Richard. And it's um, always an honor to be here and to see so many members of the Democratic Caucus, of which the Asian Pacific Caucus plays such a vital and important role. Kudos to you, Judy, for your tireless work on bringing everybody together in the assembly uh, here today. It's uh, an extraordinary group. Um, it was great listening to Senator Haka, and now uh, we only can hope that Mike Honda will break into song at any moment. <laughs> and, uh, and with Joe Crowley here, I think that, you know, that, that, that could be completely in order. Uh, indeed, I am proud to be the chairman of the Democratic Caucus. I say that we're America's caucus. We are the most diversified parliamentary body ever assembled in the history of mankind. Think about that. The United States Democratic Caucus is the most diversified parliamentary body ever assembled in the history of mankind. <clears throat> My colleagues would often say that uh, getting us to move together is often like herding cats. But uh, nonetheless, uh, our viewpoints, our diversity, are our strength. And we rely upon that strength to move the nation forward. And never has it been so apparent as it is today. In Washington, unfortunately, today, we have a segment of partisanship where we have a party at war against its own government. Washington warned us about this in his farewell address, saying rather clearly that when those partisans decide to attack the very foundations of government that provide us our liberty and freedom. That is a time for Americans to rise up and understand the significance and importance of contribution and what it means to be we, the people, and what it means to form a more perfect union. People who have experienced or are part of immigration, which is most Americans, understand how important these liberties and freedoms that we have and are derived from the government, the social compact that in Washington we are at war with today. It seems impossible to believe that you could be at war with Medicare, that you could be at war with Pell Grants for students, and yet we see budget cuts that devastate a person's opportunity to get an education. What path forward for anyone, and especially anyone immigrating to this country, if not through education? To eliminate all Pell Grants by 2020, to cut them by $1,000 per student, to raise student loan rates, this is unconscionable. The compact that we have between our people and its government is one that says, yes, we understand the great entrepreneurial strength of this country that we derive from innovation and the sweat of our brow to make sure that we're able to take risks because of the great reward. But in the process, we also know that if you work hard and play by the rules, and you've been a participant in this society, that we will not allow you to fall through the cracks. That we have Social Security, that we have Medicare, and now that we have health care for all Americans. Rise up, everybody, from Asia Pacific and across this nation, and understand that when we pull together, when we work together, we have a stronger country. That's what this caucus is stand for, bringing us together and continuing to unite us in a way that demonstrates that we can all work together. I'm honored that on my staff now, my most senior member is a young Korean orphan who has, in so many ways, been an inspiration to many members uh, of our caucus and works tirelessly 
uh, on their behalf. And I wanted to especially single her out today for her hard work and now the longest serving member on my staff, Ken Jaworski. So, good job. I congratulate you on your day. I know you have a lot of work to be done. But as President Kennedy uh, reminds us, so let us go forward and lead the land we love, asking God's blessing, but knowing here on earth, God's work is our own. Thank you so much.